This is a tip about rotate, move and scale with background constraint. So when you are doing retopology, you are not restricted to the topology tools. You can also use the move or rotate or scale tool. So for instance, if I want to align these vertices and I can select them, activate the scale tool and when your constraint to background is on and your geometry constraint is set to point now i can scale this and it will constrain to the background so for instance if i want to scale to that level then i can click over there to align my handles and then in the y drag down like that and you see it nicely constrains to the background. If I activate my move tool with again constraint to background and geometry constraint to point still on, now I can move them up if I want to or down. And again, everything is nicely constrained to the background. And I can also rotate if I want to. Like that of course now I'm going to have some overlap if I go too far but as you can see it nicely aligns to the background so with retopology and constraint to background geometry constraint point you are not restricted to the topology tools in the topology layout you can also use other tools as long as you make sure that constraint to background design and geometry constraint is point